So we're delighted to be joined now by Charlie Gilman. We are live. Yes, Charlie, thank you for joining us and uh, congratulations Appreciate it. on the goal as well. How good is it to get off the mark for the club? Yeah, it's very good. I mean, I'm, I was unfortunate last week, you know, not many chances, but today, you know, I had the one in the first half I was quite unlucky with and then, you know, I, had the, I rarely missed twice, so it was nice to get off the mark. We've been struggling sat here watching in this heat. How was it uh, for you guys out there playing, playing in it? I can't breathe. First five minutes, I only <laughs> chucked up. But nah, it, it was nice. It's, it's nice weather. We'll miss it when it gets cold, but nah, it's just a nice feeling, and I'm hopeful the fans were happy. And how how big did those three points feel? It certainly felt big from the fans in the stand. I mean, we've now won the first three, three clean sheets. And, and how big was that in the dressing room? Well, the gaffer says if you beat Mansfield, they're going to be up there or thereabouts. So obviously it was nice to get the three points, but at the end of the day, like it's a process. We're nowhere near where we know we can get to. So we'll just keep chalking the games off. We're not going to get carried away. We're just going to keep grinding, take every game, every game as it comes. And then we'll see where we are come the end of the season. I mean, you, you say there about maybe the performance levels not quite being there today. Obviously the heat might have affected that a little bit but how how do you feel you boys can, can get to those performance levels and, and maybe fully click and, and start I don't know scoring more uh, well I mean a few boys are coming back from injury you know they had before I come in there was a few injuries um, a few of the boys have uh, been ill so we'll, we'll come and get into fitness you know I've been here only two weeks now Idris come in only trained a day so we're all starting to gel together and I think in uh, like the gaffer says three four five games time you know we could be frightening so that's where we want to get to could you explain just like you know you said you almost chucked up after five minutes but just how hard it was for you know pretty much every player you know you're yeah. all playing on the same pitch but as Ollie said we were we were standing here watching everyone warm up and go yeah. you know it's not often that you think uh, I'm pleased I'm not out there playing because it looked like such hard work there were wayward passes all over the shot yeah. from both teams as well but was everyone feeling it what did you say at half time was everyone kind of in the same yeah, boat of I, I think the gaffer just said like we're gonna have a chance you know just keep in it don't concede any sloppy goals stay switched on I think uh, everybody felt it but uh, the skipper I mean the geezer runs for fun so you know I think everyone felt it um, but at the end of the day we got the three points graft it keep ticking them off and then like I said see where we are coming in the season and talk us through your goal as well because we we said at half time kind of you know it wasn't really dropping for for us in the first half yeah. it looked like players were kind of just the only way that you're going to get into the game or get a goal was to, to like take someone to take you know the game by the scruff of the neck and that's exactly what Idris did as well yeah. running in and then once the ball falls to your feet what are you thinking well he done all the hard work I mean very rarely you get a chance like that uh, but I saw the keeper cheat early uh, as I put my head down and yeah I just reversed it and you know give a bit to the fans <laughs> over there I'm sure the fans enjoyed it but yeah you know it's, like I say all the time it's the best feeling in the world and I always want more keep pushing you you missed it just before you uh, come out came on air a few fans walked past us and said uh, we were robbed we were robbed oh really yeah <laughs> and so I think they probably enjoyed um, seeing your your celebration but Mansfield yeah. really gave us a game as well this afternoon no, they're, they're a good team don't take anything away from them but at the end of the day we just want to win games we wanted it more today in the heat with the fans behind us you know we just want to win games and happy I could contribute and we saw Ruel and, and Harry Smith come on uh, in the latter stages. Paul Smith obviously featured today. Aaron Drynan coming back from injury shortly. How have you found it settling in at the club and that competition for places and, and sitting in, settling in sorry, to, to Rishi's side? Uh, to be honest with you, everyone's, it's what a group to say that like, I, I have to give credit to them. They've made me feel welcome. It's not a competition. I think it, everyone wants to, is fighting for the same thing, you know, promotion. That's what we all want. But at the end of the day, like, I've enjoyed it and yeah. Just keep pushing. Tuesday night now, it's it's not long to wait until our next fixture in the league. You must still be hoping for four out of four. Now listen, like I said, it's not going to be an easy task. We're just going to go there, play how we usually do, get be on the front foot and you know be ruthless because one of these games is going to click and hopefully it can be Tuesday. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Charlie, and we will be looking forward to Swindon on Tuesday night very shortly, but time for a quick break before we hear Richie Wellens' faults. Perfect. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you.